What do you think about Mayweather Pacquiao too, too coming up possibly? Yeah, I mean, I, I think that uh, I think they'll both make a lot of money. You know, I don't think it'll do what it did the first time, but I think it will. I think it will be uh, very profitable for both of them. I think it'll do uh, better than Conor Habib. I don't know. The, th the difference is here, here's the difference in, in, in a fight like this, and no disrespect to either one of those guys, because obviously, you know, if you look at what Floyd's done in his career, and I was a big Pacquiao fan, you know, his whole career. Um, but what, what fight fans really want, and what fight fans love, are two animals who are in their prime, you know, and fighting for the belt or dislike or whatever it might be like this situation with these two the reason this fight is so big because this is a real fight this is a legit fight with two of the best in the uh, absolute best in the world undefeated you know habib and conor mcgregor who's incredible at the end of the day that's what sells and that's what fans want to see Now, now, Dan, obviously a lot of fans are very excited to know that John Jones will be back and we think that he'll be able to fight from October the 28th onwards. He'll be able to get back. We've seen he's been in training. For the sports perspective, is it good that John Jones is back? He had two failed drugs tests. He's now working with the authorities. Is it good for the sport to have John Jones back? Yeah, I mean, I think it is. People want to watch him fight. He's he's still one of the pound for pound best in the world and I, and I, think, he, I think he'll always be considered that. And, and I think that... You know, we we just we need to see him competing at his best, and it's it's unfortunate that the circumstances around it make it all questionable. I think, to be honest, the only person it reflects badly on is John Jones because now you know he's he's a drug cheat in, in most people's eyes, and now he's a snitch as well. And they're they're two things that that are just they're, they're not easy to palate when when you when you're looking for someone to support as an athlete. And I think that. I think now, uh, Nick's mentioned this many, many times, and I agree with him. I think now is the time for John to really fully embrace the heel and just to be the bad guy because I think he's done so much damage to his brand now um, you know, by, by the choices that he's made. That I, I don't think he can come back and be the righteous party in this equation again. It just makes me want to watch him more. It absolutely does. Yeah. I, lo I love the whole heel thing. It's, al it's almost on the verge of being wrestling, yeah. how we've seen his character change, the storyline change. And it is a storyline from being that Nike-sponsored athlete who was the golden boy, he was the future of mixed martial arts, to getting caught bad-mouthing John Jones, uh, bad-mouthing Daniel Cormier when he thought he was on camera, yeah. now to be a snitch and a drugs cheat. And I mean, somebody, he should, and he should somebody get a crashed, catch. And somebody crashed his car into a pregnant woman and ran away. He, need, he needs seeing she was okay. a leather outfit and a cape and some sort of mask. He needs to come out as an X-Man, doesn't he? Bones. He evil does. bones. Evil bones. Listen, I, I just hope he does embrace it. You know, I just hope, hope he does come back and just, you know, ax, ax himself. You know, it, it's obviously a facade. It's obviously all this whiter than white kind of image that they've tried to portray around him just because his father's a preacher and everything else. It's completely and utterly blew up in their faces. And I just think John Jones needs to come back, allow the world to see him from what he is. He's the bad guy. Let him play the bad guy. Put him in with Daniel Cormier because you know what? John Jones becomes heavyweight champion of the world and we'll have a bad guy at the top of the tree. Is that bad for business? Absolutely not. So the question is, do we see John Jones versus Daniel Cormier 3? We've got to. I think we've got to. I think DC won't let it go. DC will want it on his ledger before he retires. And John Jones thinks that's easy money and an easy way to win the heavyweight title. It will happen, but it will happen at heavyweight. Dan, do you think we'll see it? Yeah, I do. I think, I, to be honest, I think DC will still push for it. And, and I think that the, the, he recognises the fact that um, he's being held back in the pound for pound rankings because of, of his relationship with John Jones. I think people will always have that question in the back of their mind. And even if it's a subconscious decision, they won't put DC at the top of the pound for pound rankings, wherever John Jones is, is floating around and possibly competing.